everybody, it's Kara at Sedgwick County Zoo, and I am so excited to be in the commissary today because I love it down here. The commissary you had a visit with last week um, when they did frozen foods. Today we're going to talk about produce. And I'm here with Gabby again, and I'm going to turn this over to her, and we are going to get started because we go through some produce. Hi everybody, welcome back to our commissary. Um, if you couldn't join us last time, our commissary is where we store and we prepare all of the diets that our zoo animals eat every single day. We're here every day of the week to make sure that our anim animals always get good nutritious food to eat. So today we're gonna talk about produce um, and we go through a lot of it. We go through 18 to 20 boxes of lettuce every single day. I didn't realize it was that many every day. Well, I'm sorry, That's not amazing. every day, every oh, week. Oh, sorry. every week. I was like, wow, they eat more lettuce than I do. Oh, it's probably six or seven boxes a day, which uh -huh. is still a lot. That so, is a lot. So we keep as much as we can in this freezer here. It's a lot like our other fridge that we have. I said freezer, I meant fridge. Um, so if you look here, we see that we have potatoes, sweet potatoes, bananas, carrots. You're welcome to go inside. Oh, I think I will because I'm burning up. And up on these shelves, we have all sorts of things. We have grapes, tomatoes, um, we have raw eggs. Uh -huh. um, we don't give out raw eggs, but we do give out hard boiled eggs uh -huh. um, that we put into our steamer. Um, we have um, some weirder things like red onions. Um, our chimpanzees like to eat red onions. But do they not like white or yellow onions? Um, I don't know the answer to that. We don't keep white uh -huh. onions or yellow onions, but I know that, I, I don't know if it's maybe the, the unique flavor of the red that they like. It but could be. It That's could interesting. Be, yeah. It could be the nutritional value of them too might oh, be different. Yeah. Yeah. So um, normally we have um, red cabbage, but because of COVID, I think, um, we're having trouble getting red cabbage, so we just keep green cabbage. Uh-huh. Um, keep just about any kind of green that you can think of. We have bok choy, collards, kale, um, romaine lettuce. We have to get uh, organic romaine lettuce for um, the ectotherms. I think they go to the snails because oh, you can't have anything yeah. with pesticides on it that you feed to a snail. Makes good sense. Yeah. We go through a lot of cucumbers. Our cucumbers, um, we send two boxes um, twice a week to the elephant building. Oh. And then the gorillas eat a lot, uh -huh. um, so we have to keep them on hand. Lots and lots of boxes on hand. Um, and then if you go to this shelf over here, you can see that we have lots and lots of kale. Uh, we started going through a lot more kale just recently. We used to only keep like four boxes, and now uh -huh. we have to keep eight or ten. Um, and then over here we have, this is an enrichment item. We've got a bag of cherries and some guava. And then um, papaya is something that we feed out almost every day. Uh -huh. The fruit bats get it a couple times a week. And then uh, the cassowary gets it every day. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, the cassowary gets half a cantaloupe um, and then 350 grams of papaya every day. And that's um, an important note. You said 350 grams. We know what's going in to the animals um, every day so that we know when changes occur. And we also know what to expect to come out of the animal, so yes. we know when changes occur. Exactly. Yeah. Here in the fridge, we also keep a, a couple of other things, like these zucchinis came from the horticulture department. Uh -huh. um, we'll probably end up giving those to a &R. They're not in any of our actual diet books, um, so nobody, nobody gets them on a daily basis. So they're going to be more of like an enrichment thing. Uh, just um, a plug for education. You can send a few slices down to us because I know some friends that would love it. Oh, well, we'll do that. We've got a littler one. I'll just give it to you when we're done. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Being the rabbit's going to be excited. Here in the fridge, uh, we also keep all of our batteries and all of our vitamins um, just to keep them fresher, longer. I don't really know the science behind keeping a battery in the fridge, but... Um, I think it's old school. I remember my grandma used to do it. It may still be of value. I'm not sure, though. But, I mean, if you've got a good system... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we definitely have to make sure we keep a lot of stuff on hand in there because um, there are some departments that will order entire boxes of produce at a time. Uh -huh. uh, for example, the Velt for their rhinos and hippos. Um, I think the rhinos get like three sweet potato, three apples, and three carrots or something like that a day. Uh -huh. So they have to have boxes of them in their fridge. So when they run out, we have to make sure we have a box to replace it with. You may have already told us, but how many produce deliveries do we get a week? We get two a week. Uh -huh. We get one on Friday and one on Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, so... Yeah, we go through a lot. A lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our monthly budget is a little over, I think, $12,000. For, 
for produce, produce or just for produce. Wow. Yeah. That's um that's even more than my produce budget. And I was telling you before we started, I would much rather eat a vegetable than meat. So yes. I, I love oh. the veggies. <laughs> yeah. So why don't we go in the kitchen and you can show us some of the stuff that's going on in there. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and you might notice that Gabby's wearing our fabulous new uniform shirts. They look wonderful. So it's a new color. It's got the new logo. So look for that when you come out. I think it makes it's very complimentary <laughs> to all complexions. So... So here in our kitchen, this is where we prep all of our diets. Um, we basically, we just follow the instructions that's laid out for us in these books. Uh -huh. um, it's not too hard as long as you are, pay attention to detail. And we, I've been here long enough that it's mostly by memory by uh -huh. now. You just follow it as a guide. And it, it's almost like um, muscle memory. You just start putting it together. You just don't even think about it anymore. Um, but so like this is our ASA bird diet. Um, they get this diet twice a week and then this diet uh, five times a week. Uh -huh. So uh, and then we have like Wallaby, Wallaroo, Tyra. She's not on exhibit anymore, um, but she's still here with us. And then um, our Kawadis, um, if you've seen all of those animals in our Australia, South America walkthrough. So these are basically, um, for lack of a better term, your cookbooks. Yes, these now, are our recipes. I I'm old school zoo, so if you look up, you'll see that there are like hanging fixtures up here. Back in the old days, they had all of the diets up on whiteboards, and it became really difficult for them to make updates, which we make a lot of updates to diets, um, because they had to get up there and, and make the updates. So these books are much easier for you guys to keep updated, aren't yes. they? Yeah, it's probably, it's almost a daily thing yeah. where we have to make an adjustment. That makes me feel better because I only, I only <laughs> update like once every six months. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these carts are, are pretty useful to us. Um, as you can see, um, it's holding a bunch of the stuff that we saw in our big cooler. Uh -huh. um, it just makes it a lot easier for us to prepare the diet. So like we have lettuce and kale, celery, banana on this cart. Um, so if, say, you were standing at this station and you needed lettuce, all you had to do was reach in and take it. So you didn't have to walk all the way to the fridge and get it. Um, it's just accessible to us. That's great. Yeah, and then this cart's very similar. I restocked it really well this afternoon. So we have oranges, sweet potato, apple, and carrots. And sweet potato is a staple around here. Yes. Lots for of good sure. vitamins. Mmm, carrots. Yep. So there's another fridge that I know you wanted to show us. Do you want to take a peek yeah. in there real quick? Yep, this is our last fridge. Um, it's the, the diet storage fridge. So these are diets that we made yesterday and today, and they are ready to be delivered. These are all of our chimp diets that are ready to go in the morning. Uh -huh. um, we've got some chopped fruit here, bell pepper. Um, they get two rotational vegetable items every day, so uh -huh. it looks like tomorrow is going to be peppers. It smells really good in here. Do you guys have some cantaloupe prepped? It smells Probably. almost like cantaloupe. Yeah, our cantaloupe has been really, really ripe recently, uh -huh. so it smells really good when we cut it open. So, And yeah. also, the different colors of the bins mean different things, don't they? Yes, so all of the red bins hold meat items, uh -huh. so they have to be underneath a gray tub, which holds produce items. You can never switch them in case there's some cross-contamination. Makes sense. Yes. And then orange buckets go to gorillas, gray buckets and yellow buckets go to chimps and orangutan. Uh -huh. um, I think that's most of the colors we have. The white ones, um, some of them go to the Australia South America team, and then some of them go to the um, Okapi and, and Colobus. And education's a white bucket. Yes, yes it is. And there's some big bones down there. Yes. Who are those going to? Um, that is the Velt bucket. So uh -huh. I think they're going to tigers and the leopard. Uh huh. Yep. Makes sense. Wow, this is. Yep. Well, A, feels really good, so I'm <laughs> stalling. But B, it smells, or, so there's a lot of points. Smells good, and it's just so interesting to see all the work that goes into this. Yep. You guys are really the clearinghouse for the zoo. Things come here, and then they go out. Yep. So it, there's tons of stuff that yep. goes back Everybody's got their own spot. Like Capybara is almost always here. Uh -huh. um, a and R is always on, either on this top shelf or here. Uh -huh. um, white potato is all by its lonesome. And then um, the order that we store things is very specific. We have bison, prairie, tropics. Very um, cool. And it's always supposed to be in that order. Otherwise, if we put it in the truck in the wrong order, since they're not labeled other than like pronghorn uh -huh. has a label, um, that's really our only indicator is the location and then what's in the diet. 
So what we, how we tell the difference between these two buckets, because they're very similar, uh -huh. um, is that this one has celery and the bears get celery. Awesome. So yeah. it's a system. You yes. guys have a well-oiled machine going here. <laughs> yes. Well, Gabby, thank you so much for letting us come and invade your space and giving us the lowdown on the produce down here. We really appreciate it. And everybody remember to look out for the new uniform shirts. We're looking all smart in our shirts. And come by and see us. It's hot, but there's still air-conditioned places to go. And we look forward to seeing you. Thanks, everybody.